Donald Trump is now turning his attacks to Senator Kelly Ayotte, telling the Washington Post, I don't know Kelly Ayotte. I know she's given me no support, zero support, and yet I'm leading her in the polls. It comes after Ayotte said she was appalled by comments Trump made when he criticized Kazir Khan, the father of a U.S. Army captain who died in the Iraq War. Trump went on to tell the Washington Post, we don't need weak people. We have enough of them. We need fighters in this country. But Kelly Ayotte has given me zero support. In response, Ayotte told WMUR, I call it like I see it, and I'm always going to stand up for our military families and what's best for the people of New Hampshire. Democrats were quick to point out Ayotte is not backing down from her support of Trump. Kelly Ayotte has been trying to distance herself from, from Donald Trump, but yet not totally separate herself. She's been walking a fine line for several months now by supporting him but not, quote, endorsing him. It's not the first time Ayotte has blasted Trump for his controversial comments, but WMUR political reporter John DeStaso says her latest criticism of him might have been his breaking point. Sunday, Ayotte defended Kazir Khan, saying, I am appalled that Donald Trump would disparage them and that he had the gall to compare his own sacrifices to those of a Gold Star family. In a WMUR.com article, several New Hampshire Republicans told DeStaso it was likely that comment which prompted Trump to attack Ayotte. This kind of plays right into the theme of her, of her cam own campaign, which is that she's an independent voice. And in that Washington Post interview, Trump also said that he's not ready to endorse Senator John McCain or U.S. House Speaker Paul Ryan in their upcoming races. Reporting live in the studio, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.